Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Welcome back to another video, another book video to be specific. So exciting. So today's video is a bookstore vlog, but we're gonna do two trips, two bookstore trips. So the first one was tonight. I went to Barnes with two of my best friends. It was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was good. This one was fun. It, and it's a little different than like my normal when I'm just like by myself in the bookstore. So that's exciting. But I'm also tomorrow gonna go to a different Barnes & Noble near me and just kind of check it out, pop around. If you're new here, my name is Ariana. I film vlogs all the time, but sometimes I film these specific bookstore vlogs. So basically what we do is I come on here, I do this little intro, ask how you guys are doing. Did I say that? Did I say, hey besties, how are you? I hope I did. Anyways, hey besties, how are you? Let's get that out of the way. We can't make a video without saying that. I'll let you guys go over with me. Um, we stopped for coffee first and then we went to Barnes. It was a very cute, wholesome winter night with me and my besties. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you when you get back. Have the best time at Barnes. I you know, you know I did. We always do. <laughs> Hardcover. Never will I. <laughs> the thing is, listen, hardcover is like decor. No. 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 But I get it, you can't like fold the pages. <laughs> Who folds the wait, pages? wait, 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 who's no, folding no, 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 That's what I mean. <laughs> if you fold Babe, who's doing that? Like this. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. Like with a hardcover, you have to like go like this. It's just <laughs> in a way, it's too bulky. It's not what I'm looking for in the experience. Yeah, no, I agree. I, you know? I'm gonna play tomorrow. Yeah, I really, it's a quick read. It's Seems like a quick read. We've gotten this. <laughs> She's a nice one. I'm trying to decide on multiple yeah. Wait, Christmas why is it books. So pretty. Happy Wait, it really is. The navy with the gold. No, it's stunning. <laughs> was fun. I got four books, but I'm really, really excited about these. Two that I've wanted for a while. Two that I literally have never heard about, but I'll explain. First book that I got is Almond. I feel like if you're a K-pop fan, you've seen this book, especially if you're a BTS fan. It's nice and short. It's a nice and short read. I think the cover is just beautiful. I love this color scheme. I've always been drawn to this book, not only because of like the amount of people that I know that I've read it, but I just, oh, I'm so excited. But I'll read the back for you guys, just in case you're curious, just in case you don't know what it's about. Yunjae was born with a brain condition called alexithemia that makes it hard for him to feel emotions like fear or anger. He does not have friends, but his devoted mother and grandmother provide him with a safe and contented life. But everything changes when a shocking act of random violence shatters his world, leaving him alone on his own. Struggling to cope with his loss, Yunjae retreats into silent, into silent isolation until troubled teenager Gan arrives at school. The two form a surprising bond, and when Gan suddenly finds his life at risk, Yunjae will have to step outside of every comfort zone he has ever created to perhaps become the hero of his own story. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to join the little community that has read this book. I've heard such good things about this. Like, I'm just really excited about that book. Okay. Anyways, the next book that I got is... Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. If you watch my last bookstore vlog, you know that I told you guys I am a series girl. So seeing everybody read this series with these big books, listen, it's been intriguing. As you guys saw, I went to the store with my two best friends and one of my friends has read the series and she was like, you need to get that book. That is my favorite book. She said the second in her series was her favorite one. But I, that was all I needed. She gave me the green light go and now I'm beyond ready. It's fantasy. I am not against fantasy. I actually, some of my favorite books are fantasy, especially this sort of vibe of fantasy is something that I really like, especially with series. I like series that are fantasy that have like a completely different world that you kind of have to learn and, you know, get the lingo and everything as you're reading the series. I really do enjoy um, books like that and series like that. So I am really looking forward to reading this. The length of the books, they just get bigger and bigger. This one is quite daunting in itself. So I am a little nervous about that, but I'm excited to challenge myself to read um, like something a little bit longer. I feel like a lot of people know what this book is about. Um, and if you don't, it's pretty like standard. I don't think the back is really gonna give you the whole thing. I'm gonna save you guys the time, save us the time in this video. Um, cause I feel like a lot of people know about this book, but, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm, I actually really am excited about this. You guys know, I told you I'm a series girl. Like I, I love a good series and this is, this is a series for sure. The next book that I got is In Five Years. I'm very excited about this. Also Barnes and Noble, they gave me like three free bookmarks. They're actually so cute. I didn't even notice. Look how cute those are. Oh, I'm obsessed. The cover really got me. My friend picked it up and then I picked it up because I was just drawn to the cover. Isn't she beautiful? Hold on, let me focus this for you guys so you can actually get, so you can actually like really appreciate this. The goals with the blue, oh, sold. And then we read the back and we were sold again. And my other friend had already read it and she said it was really good, so. Danny Cohen lives her life by the numbers. She is nothing like her long life best friend, the wild whimsical believes in fate Bella. Danny's meticulous planning seems to have paid off after she nails her most important job interview of her career and accepts her boyfriend's marriage proposal in one fell swoop, falling asleep completely content. But when she awakes, she's suddenly in a different apartment with a different ring on her finger and beside a very different man. Danny spends exactly one hour, five years in the future before she wakes again in her own home on the brink of midnight. And it is one hour she cannot shake. In five years is an unforgettable love story, but it is not the one you're expecting. It just sounds interesting. It sounds like a fun little twist on a quote unquote love story. And again, not too long just enough like this quote on the front as clever as it is moving the rare read in one sitting novel you won't forget you got me there babe i'm i'm down okay and the last book that i got tonight is one day in december i've really been wanting a christmas book like a little christmas book to just like snuggle up and read um and i read like they had a whole christmas table i feel like i read the backs of like every book on that table but this one was actually in the fiction section it wasn't on like the like christmas book table that they had set up and it, it just got me the back got me i was i'm here for it i i honestly last time i was in barnes and noble i read the back of this so when i saw it again i was like i reread it and i was like you know what yeah i think that's the christmas vibe we want because i didn't want something like cheesy christmas i just want something that was like set in like December Christmas time. You know, I will read the back for you because I actually think it's pretty intriguing and I think some people will find it interesting. Laurie is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere but in the movies. But then through a miss it up bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man who she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic and then the bus drives away. Certain they're fated to find each other again, Lori spends, Lori spends a year scanning every bus stop and cafe in London for him. Love that it's set in London, but she doesn't find him, at least not when it matters. Instead, they reunite at a Christmas party when her best friend Sarah giddily introduces her new boyfriend to Lori. It's Jack, the man from the bus. What happens for Lori, Sarah, and Jack is 10 years of friendship, heartbreak, missed opportunities, roads not taken, and destinies reconsidered. One day in December is a joyous, heartwarming, and in an immensely moving love story to escape into and a reminder that fate takes inexplicable turns along the route to happiness. 
very excited about this. You see what I mean? It's it's like it's probably gonna have like a cozy wintery vibe, but it's not like super Christmas. You know? You know what I mean? I don't know. A seasonal read, if you will. <laughs> what she trying to say? Like, what am I trying to say? Okay, so we had our little bookstore run. We had our little book chat, and now I thought we would do a little reading together and then tomorrow we'll have a little morning and then we'll head to a different Barnes and Noble. I don't know what I'm gonna read though. I am in the middle of reading a book. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am in the middle of reading a book. In a little bit of a slump with it. I'm not gonna say what book it is but I'm in a little bit of a slump with it so <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna read. I'm going to clean up my room a little bit, make it a little cozier and then we'll read a little bit. So exciting. What a fun little twist on a bookstore vlog we have today. We're gonna do two bookstore runs. Incredible, incredible. Love that for us. <laughs> focus on mental health and self-care. Reading, of course, is one way that I do this, and if you're watching this, it probably means it's the same for you. But another way that I want to focus on this in the upcoming year is journaling. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. They have an amazing class that I've been taking called Art Journaling for Self-Care. Three exercises for reflection and growth. Taught by Amanda Rachley. I used to journal a lot and have been wanting to get back into the habit with a more positive self-care approach. This class is split into six lessons, each broken down by a different journaling prompt and ideas for how to make your journal spreads unique, including supplies you can use and more. The way Amanda creates unique journal spreads really inspired me for reflective journaling and maybe even a book journal. If you don't already know what Skillshare is, it's an amazing online platform that is filled with tons of different classes. These classes range from film and video, graphic design, productivity, and even lifestyle. And the best part is that the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare and after that it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I highly recommend trying out Skillshare and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Obviously, it's the next day, and I am about to go to Barnes & Noble, but I'm gonna go to a different one. One that I, I've been to before, but it's not my usual. And I also think if there's some space, some room for me, I might sit at the little Starbucks in Barnes & Noble and do a little work, do a little reading. Just a little change of scenery since I do like work from home. Yeah, let's go to Barnes, let's go.
back home. I've been home for a little bit. Um, I was just kind of working on some things when I got home. I didn't get any books at this Barnes & Noble, um, but I did get those two journals um, because I really want to start journaling in the new year. Again, I used to journal so much in the past, like, I don't know, I would say like the second half of this year, I've really like stopped journaling as much as I was, so I'm hoping to get back into that habit. This has been a pretty fun vlog, a little different than the normal bookstore vlogs because we went to Barnes & Noble two times, two different Barnes & Nobles, um, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it and I'm really enjoying the book that I'm reading right now. I'm not very far in it. Hold on. In this book, I read a little bit as you guys saw uh, last night and then I read some more in Barnes & Noble and I plan on reading some more tonight but i'm probably gonna stop the vlog here because i feel like we're out of footage and it's like how many times can i show you me reading the same book you know but another thing that i wanted to mention i've gotten quite a few comments um on my book videos about whether or not i have uh goodreads i do have one i'm gonna link it down below but i am so bad at it i'm really trying to like get on it so I'm in the process of putting like all the books that I've read and rating them right now. Right now there's only like, I only have like two books on there at like for like completed, you know? But I'm going to be updating it so I'm going to link it down below. When this video goes up I probably won't have updated it yet but maybe I will have, I don't know. But just know I'll be updating it and I'm going to try to stay on top of it with the books that I'm reading now. So I have this right now as like what I'm currently reading. And obviously, I'll keep updating and rate it when I'm done. I'm just going to try to keep using it because I've gotten quite a few questions on it. And I think it'd be kind of fun that way you guys can kind of stay up to date, you know, and like what I'm reading when I'm not making videos about it. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Thank you again so much for all the love on my book videos. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I, like, can't believe that people that that many people watch videos of me talking about books it's kind of surreal but of course it's so much fun and they're like my favorite videos to make and videos to edit so thank you for liking them as much as you do and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you subscribe comment down below anything you want i really don't care i just like talking to you guys in the comments but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video take care of yourself as best as you can Love you very much.